What's up everybody? It's your boy Dave. Um, just a few hours ago, Daniel Dubois has beaten Nathan Gorman, D Gorman to win the British heavyweight title. If you've not seen the video, don't worry. I will give you the link to the video at the end of this video. Now, um, but the most important thing is the little analysis I want to show you here before you see the video. If you've seen the video, then um, you would appreciate the analysis I'm giving now. So the thing that made this fight interesting is that they are both upcoming. Dubois has had like, um, this is his 12th fight and uh, Gorman, this is his 17th fight. And um, Gorman was filmed in another fight, all right? While he was watching Dubois' last fight, Gorman was sitting at the uh, at the ringside and was talking to his manager or somebody and telling the manager that, look, Dubois cannot beat him in a month of Sundays. He was analyzing Dubois and was telling the manager that there is no way Dubois is going to him, beat him, that Dubois' head is always on the same spot and um, he was just pointing out so many weaknesses, not knowing that the camera was capturing that moment. So, but at the end of the day, that was why I wanted to see this fight. Whether he really, I uh, wanted to see for real if he actually had the, the key to solving Dubois. So when the fight started, um, initially, it was a if um, they both were going to do a lot of exchanges, but after... Uh, the first minute of the fight, I discovered that um, Gorman had a weakness in his strategy. All right, even though his strategy was effective, I would say his strategy was only 20% effective. If he had balanced it out, he would, have, he would have been able to win this fight. So, what was his strategy? He was always leaning to his right, and they tell you basics in boxing don't lean to the right all right if you don't want to get hit by your opponent's right hand it's in the alleyway of the right hand so as you can see here Gorman is leaning to his right to avoid the punch and guess which punch is catching him the right hand of Dubois and all the pictures you will see is the same thing you see lean to his right get caught by the right hand see again okay he's already down here and uh, I think there's one more lean to the right gets caught by the right hand and it was the right hand that took him down all the times he went down so the other weakness in um gorman's uh style is that he wasn't offensive he went there to do counter punching all right unless you have um a a killer power like deontay wilder you can't win a fight by counter punching all right, or unless you have a killer defense, like punching. Even Mayweather and Deontay Wilder that have these unique abilities, they are always on the offensive. Yes, there are times that Mayweather goes defensive, all right, but 50% of the times, Mayweather is trying to hit you and not get hit. So when he went in with that strategy in round one, I knew this guy is going to lose to Dubois except Dubois' jaw gives him away. But Dubois was taking shots because um, every time Dubois comes on the attack, he counters, all right? He throws a lot of flurry of counters and he catches Dubois. He caught Dubois several times, but Dubois did not wobble. Okay, well, there was a time Dubois' legs were a little weak and I expected him to take on the advantage and jump on Dubois. But every time Dubois goes back, he stops. Gorman doesn't attack. Gorman just chills and waits for Dubois to recover and come. So if you watch the fight, you will see that there were several moments in that fight where there were nothing happening. Both of them were just looking at each other and just walking around the ring. Because um, Dubois attacked and um, even though Dubois caught him with some punches, he normally fires back and catches Dubois with some. So they just both chill. So before I even continue, remember to subscribe. If this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, click the red subscribe button below and turn on the notifications. So when I spotted this in round one, I knew that no, there's no way this man is, go is, not, is going to win unless one of those counter punches uh, stops Dubois. Unfortunately, Dubois' punches were heavier than his own. So there was no way he was going to win. When I saw how light his own counter punches were, 
and they weren't doing anything to Dubois, I knew that, man, this guy is going to lose this fight. So I was surprised that as the fight progressed, he didn't change his style because Dubois was catching him more and more and he was able to counter Dubois less and less because Dubois was gradually adjusting to his counter punches. His counter punches followed exactly the same style. A looping left hook. Whenever Dubois comes in, he tries to counter with a looping left hook and a straight right to the stomach. Looping left hook to the head, straight, the same thing. He didn't adjust. And then he's going to wait for Dubois to come in attacking. You understand? He still he keeps going back to the, the ropes for Dubois to attack. So um, I, I just knew he was going to lose. By round 3, Dubois knocked him down the first time. But he did something very smart. When he was down, when Dubois, uh, when uh, he got up, Dubois went in for the finish. He fought back. And um, guess who was on his ringside? It was Tyson Fury. So Tyson Fury uh, was shouting instructions at him to fight back, to fight back. And he, he took the fight to Dubois. That was the first time he fought off Dubois. So Dubois had to retreat after get, taking some uh, shots from him. And then uh, he saw the end of the third round. I knew that... Uh, I, I felt that he was going to take the fight to Dubois in round 4. He didn't. By round 5, Dubois simply KO'd him. So that is it, guys. Um, I just felt that... Um, uh, he had the potential to beat Dubois, but he didn't take advantage of that. You understand? He didn't take any advantage of that. He had a very full fight, fight plan, unless he wasn't following the instructions in the gym. Alright? Some, some fighters do that. They get into a fight, and they don't follow instructions, and all their trainings, everything fly, flew, uh, flies out of, through the window. So I would like to know what you think. I'm going to stop here. Don't forget to subscribe and then check the description section of this video. You will see the link to the full fight. So look down in the description section of this video. You will see the link. If you want to keep seeing my videos, you need to share this video. Like and share this video below. Click the like and share button below. All right. Thank you very much. See you in the comment section.